I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. Now today we start off a little bit strange. It may seem weird that we have annihilated Nosh, the final boss of this mod pack, but yet we're after a measly little fly. Well, I want to explain that these measly little flies that I just found over in this area, well, they're not exactly measly per se. The flies actually have a lot of uses in this uh, mod pack or in any pack that has Alex's mobs in them. Uh, and we have to somehow obtain a little thing that uh, these flies drop. And yeah, the, getting to them, I think, is the hard part. Come here, Mr. Fly. I don't remember. I think rotten flesh attracts them. I don't have any on me. I want to see if I can't just swing and attack this thing. Aha! There we go. And get the things that we need because I do have looting on here. And that's exactly what we got. We got maggots right from the start of today's video is what i was after was maggots now let me explain how useful these things are now throughout our journeys in the nether we ended up getting ourselves some blood sacks and some crim crimson mosquitoes um probuses <laughs> i think that's how you say that um which are the the little uh, needles that um yeah yeah it, it, it go into you yeah i don't even want to talk about it it's so bleh, it makes me feel gross um but uh, this right here, all we need to do is combine this, uh, I believe with some nether brick. And I think I have nether brick laying around in one of these chests. Uh, but we're going to be using this in combination with a maggot to actually make the crimson mosquito larva. Um, and this is important because we just recently found these things, the capsids, which we get from killing those, uh, those end, uh, things that like, I don't know, little tall mosquito looking things in the, uh, the end. And so all we have to do is take this and put it inside here. And then we just kind of wait. And this is going to turn into, there we go, this mysterious worm. Now the mysterious worm, to be able to get this boss to spawn, we have to toss it into the void in the end. And that is going to cause this boss to spawn. But before we get that done, before we do any of that fun stuff, there's actually another thing I want to make. And that utilizes this blood sack and uh, the crimson mosquito probacy. <laughs> I've, I've got to figure that out. Hey, to be fair, we should just leave this thing in an item frame and just be incredibly gross. It's, it just it floats off the item frame. That's oh, the more I look at it, the more I don't want to look at it. I'll put this back on here. All right, so I am crafting up the nether brick needed. And what we can do is we can use this to make ourselves a blood sprayer. It's just as gross as you may think. Spray and pray. And yeah, it does exactly what you think it does. It sprays blood. Um, oddly enough. Uh, and it does have durability, as you can see. But we should be able to enchant this with mending and everything else that we've put on everything to help with that. Now, this is used to make the, uh, the hemolyph blaster. Like, I'm, I'm guessing it's a play on hemoglobin uh, blaster. Uh, we do need uh, magma cream and then this uh, warped muscle. And this all comes, like the warped muscle and stuff, this actually comes from uh, the final, I don't know if you'd call it final boss. But it comes from the Mungus boss, I would call it that. Which is a mosquito. whoa. Which is a mosquito uh, that we basically turn into, uh, well, uh, a giant Mungus thing. I don't even know how to describe it. Anyways, we're, we're not even after that though. But we do have a blood sprayer. Let's see what enchants I can put on this thing. You know what, for this blood sprayer, I think life mending is the perfect, I think that's perfect. I think life mending couldn't get any better for this. Um, and so we'll put life mending on here. And what life mending will do is allow it to be repaired by our health. And so while we're actually using this thing, it should take some of our health and regenerate itself. Or it should anyways. Oddly enough, it doesn't seem like life mending is actually doing anything and nor is it repairing it. Of course not. Well, anyways, that was just a fun tool. Let's actually get into the fun part, and that is, well, summoning this mysterious worm and putting it to work. Now, what I want is kind of a large area such as this. Like, this being here is not a big deal. 
But I want an area like this to, to be where we actually summon this thing. So here goes nothing. All you have to do is toss this over the edge and well, hope for the best because this boss is about to give us the run for our money. Oh, and there it is. Yes, coming out of the portal. This is it. Now, it does hit you with some stuff. Um, let's see. There we go. Perfect. Now, shooting this thing into segments is, uh, is pretty awful. As you can see, it, you split it, and now it turns into multiple. And I love actually seeing how many segments I can split this into. I love this, especially since we're as powerful as we are. Let's try and split this into as many segments as possible. This is such a cool boss, though. Wow. There we go. Oh, we hurt that one. No. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, it can go into here. Oh, my God. There we go. Let's see if we can get this thing. There we go, to pop down to us. Okay, we got one of them. Quest complete, kill the void worm, because it's all split into segments. I guess it counts it all. But yeah, these crystals would normally hurt pretty bad. But I think, is it taking like thorns damage? There it goes. And I think this is the only other segment, yes. And there we go, and it drops the items. They sort of get like, sort of, put into the air here. And I don't know, we can't just up and get them. Oh, uh, I might have to change my leap to actually be leap and uh, be able to try that. Let's see, leap and amplify. Perfect, let's try that. And there's the other item. So it does drop a couple of items that are pretty cool actually. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. We got the eye, so the void worm eye, and we got void worm mandibles. And all of these are used to make some cool stuff. So this is part of the worm beak, which is used to make the worm effigy. And I think this does damage to mobs, if I remember correctly. And then we have the dimensional carver, which is also pretty darn cool. Um, it utilizes this eye here and allows us to create a rift that opens up and allows us to travel back to the overworld from within the rift that this pick makes. Pretty darn cool. So let's go ahead and go for it and make the pick. I think this is going to be worth it. Um, and it looks like I can also, can I also make this, that, and then that? I think we can. Yeah, we have, we have enough. It's literally just the two pieces. And so it does drop enough for you to have everything. We just need purple -pur blocks, which I'm pretty sure I do have and ender pearls, and we can actually make all of the pieces. So this is the void worm effigy, which I believe, like I said, I think it just does damage to mobs. Um, I don't remember if you have to give it a redstone signal. I think so. Um, I just, well, I just broke it and it, uh, apparently you can't actually pick it up once you've placed it. Uh, good, good game design there. I don't know why that, why, why that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> but it just broke. Um, okay, well, apparently it's a trophy that once you place it down, you cannot pick it back up. Very interesting. Okay, well, if anything, let's go ahead and uh, test this out, the Dimensional Carver. So now, while we're in the end with the Dimensional Carver, all we should be able to do is hold right-click, and it should generate a portal after a moment. A portal that should take us to spawn, back to spawn. And it does have a little bit of a cooldown. When we go back, we were now teleported to our bed. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. So it's basically another like warp stone that's not the warp stone. And then I think we can go back. Yeah, and so we can go back and forth as needed. That's pretty darn cool. I, I like that. Now, here's something that I didn't actually know until just recently. Apparently, there's two types of picks that are like this. Um, and uh, I didn't actually know that. Let's try 
and take one of these picks and let's see if we can't change things up here. So apparently there's there's the ability to transform this pick. Now I wonder if it has to be a brand new pick in order to do this. There's supposed to be capsid the ability to, for you to take this pick and convert it into a shattered dimensional carver. So I just put mending on it to get it repaired up and then I will remove it to make sure there's no enchants on it. And let's see if we can put this in the capsid now and see if this will change. Maybe this was an update. Maybe this pack is not currently on this version. I don't know. Now I'm gonna leave this in here, but I don't know if it's ever going to turn into anything as I don't know if this was something, a feature that was added later or maybe it's disabled, but it's supposed to allow you to basically create that same portal. If it turns into the shattered version, create the same portal, but yet teleport you a million blocks away, allowing you to get to the world border. And the world border actually has some mobs or in whatever version that shattered exists in. Uh, well, there's some mobs at the world border and that would be really cool to see. But I don't know if this particular version of Alex mobs is the one that this exists in. Uh, oh, oh, well. Yep. And my conclusion's probably correct because there's nothing else stating that there's a shattered one. <sighs> this is what I get for looking at wikis. Now, I'm wondering if we should be, uh, we should be able to get that final Mungus boss up and running and actually be able to fight that guy. I don't see why not, um, but what we're going to need is a couple of things. We're gonna have to head over to this mushroom biome that, uh, well, we've used a while ago and we actually found a Mungus over there and we need to grab that Mungus and put him inside of one of these traps. That is going to be definitely worthwhile. Look, look at this guy, he thinks, Dude, I just beat a god, and you're trying to come after me? Get, get wrecked. I don't even need your gear. Yeah, perfect. There's the little Mungus guy. So this is what we're going to need. Um, And I don't know if it's a bad thing that this guy already has this on there. I think you can shear them, and shearing them will prevent, like, will remove what their current uh, mushroom status is, if you can even call it that. I don't actually know. I'm going to look around and see if we can't potentially find another one of these guys laying around. Yep, and right around the corner, there was definitely another one. I'm going to make more of you guys. <laughs> They're so adorable, I think. So just in case you were wondering, the boss that I am trying to make is the warped Mesco, Mosco, <laughs> this guy right here. Um, and now, the outside of actually having uh, ourselves some munguses, we need warped mosquitoes. And well, those haven't been that hard to get our hands on. We're just going to need to get one into a cage. That's probably going to be the hardest part. Shouldn't be too bad. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we can find an area where there's more mosquitoes. Oh, and I already see one. And this actually might not be too bad as I should be able to, uh, I should be able to get them to like, they, they should just want to come to me. Yeah. And then I put this down and immediately trapped. <laughs> what a loser. Got him though. Perfect. Now we can go back because that's really all we need to summon the this other boss. Oh my goodness. So here we go. This is going to be kind of fun. I have this area in here set up so that way I can get this all going. So inside is a crimson mosquito. We also have a mungus. I don't remember which mungus is what. Okay, so this mungus, I think I want to I, I think I want to avoid this one and maybe recapture this mungus. Uh, because I do want one that uh, we can actually define and tell, hey, I want you to be a specific type of Among Us. Well, let's put this in our inventory. Now that we have that Crimson Mosquito, this is going to be kind of crazy. Oh boy. And uh, hopefully we can direct this because I think this guy can break blocks if I remember correctly. All right. So there's a fresh one. Nice. Now what we need to do is we need to turn this into a warped version. And to do that, we just take some warped fungus and we just right click it. And as you can see, it is now a warped mungus. <laughs> it's got uh, mushrooms all over it. And then the final part of this is, well, to get ourselves a crimson mosquito in here and uh, to hopefully leave as soon as we can. So that way it doesn't try to oh, take blood from us. And of course it does. All right, let's leave. And it will try its best, best to attack me. And hopefully when it runs out, there it goes, it runs out. It's going to 
go after this guy. Oh my. Um, well, it did. Do I need four? It's doing it again. He's not turning into the boss, though. Oh, <gasps> you are evil. Why did it not turn into the boss? Did we have to make sure it was maxed out on its warping capabilities? That seems kind of odd. I guess we at least we have another Among Us available. All right, let's see. It should come back after us. There we go. Uh, weird. I'm going to try it again with some more fungus, and I think we can use shears on these guys. So it does seem I can definitely shear this guy. Let's get him to max. I think that's max. Okay, and now we can summon the crimson mosquito. Of course, he's going to go after me first. Oh, you got to love it. All right, avoid. All right, and then... For some reason, it's not still attacking him. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, so it's the mosquitoes going to change. And there we go. So this is the guy. Apparently. I want him to get out. No. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I've got to get this guy out of here. So I can just see him in all of its glory. And there, okay. Okay. That, you got me. There we go. Now it's out. Okay. So, look at this guy. Look at this dude. He can pick me up. Oh, wow. And he does, he does a lot. And I wonder how much it takes to actually kill him. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, so he's like, he's he's definitely shooting me. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know what's going on. No, no, don't. I don't want to want him to break my stuff. Oh, goodness. Okay, and we ended up getting some of the things we needed. Uh, oh, and we got the muscle. So I guess now we technically do have everything we need in order to make this, except for the mim mimic cream. Which, in my opinion, is the scariest part of this whole situation. So as far as the Mimic Cubes go, I'm going to try my best to not die here, but... Here we go! They're all, they all have the same gear as me, which means they are just about as invincible as I am. But I was able to, okay, get rid of that one. Oh, we still didn't get any Mimic Cream, though. This guy is up on a ladder. Okay, we got him. And we got a Mimic Cream from that. Wow. On the last go as well. How crazy is that? So now I guess we do have everything needed. Everything needed to craft the the, the blood gun uh, th that's better than the one we currently have. You know, uh, in, in all respect, I, I kind of, I'm kind of curious now. What, what am I even doing? Why am I? Why am I making this gun that shoots blood? I have no idea. So with all this done, we get to make ourselves the Hemo, the Hemolith Blaster. And thankfully it actually removed all the enchants because life mending seems to be broken with that weapon. Uh, and with this, we can put actual uh, mending on it. Blast from the future? Question mark. It's like a little, look, look at us with it. Yep, this thing. Uh, before I even use this, I want to get Mending put on it and Unbreaking 5, if at all possible. Whatever enchants we can actually put on this thing, I want on it. All of this work going into this. Blood Blaster 9000. There we go. And of course, another Anvil Bites the Dust. Um, But it is nighttime and I want to see actually how useful is this thing? And uh, can it actually harm mobs? Like, have we made the gun that is just the weapon to end all in this world? I have no idea, but it's going to be pretty fun to find out. Let's see if we can get any mobs to spawn. It is nighttime. There we go. And, I mean, it does okay. Wow. Actually, 
it's actually really good. I would say that that's pretty decent. It's and by the way, it is getting uh, repaired by the mending from our bag. But I mean, to be fair, like I, that took out those mobs pretty quickly. That does great. What? Okay, so it's not going to do, it's not doing good against this legendary Wilden. But we should be able to handle the legendary Wilden. Get annihilated. Wow. But I mean, for most mobs, seems like this is a pretty, pretty good deal. Now, to be fair, we could have obtained, I believe we could have obtained this thing quite early if we absolutely wanted to. Yeah, we could have gotten this a little bit earlier. What is this? Oh, this is the Minotaurs. These guys spawn in my mob farm, which I find to be kind of crazy. They do more damage. This guy's shielding everything. Yeah, no, though, is, this is actually kind of a cool weapon. You can stay at range. You can stay at range and everything. Yeah. And I mean, just, just thinking about what we're actually using to, to actually shoot this thing is, is kind of funny. Now, of course, this is the ultimate test. Will it work on this guy? Uh, and how quickly can we actually take him out <laughs> with this? It applies, okay, Blazing Gland, Slowness 7, Resistance on this guy? Okay, we're frozen. But still, the fact that this thing can just stop this guy from moving is quite hilarious. Yup, okay. I wish we could see the boss bar above this guy, though. Oh, he knocks you with your, his belly. All right, come on. And he's down again and completely down. So yeah, you can definitely use this to take out these guys. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is very good. Here's the thing, though. Would you call this the most powerful weapon in the pack? I don't know. It might be. It just depends on how you use it. I think it might. It's definitely up there with one of the most powerful weapons in the pack. Okay, I can only laugh so much. I mean, at this point, my cheeks are starting to hurt. It's... <laughs> I'm having too much fun today. This is just... It's super fun. I'm, I'm loving this. Also, I just wanted to check and see if I was able to apply these gems again because I wasn't able to apply or socket these last time. And I'm glad I did because I can actually socket them now. And so I'm able to hit that 8% base damage on these things as if I need it. But I'm able to do that now and socket even more damage onto our swords. Oh boy. <laughs> We're even more powerful now. Because now we're going to deal 8% extra damage. I don't know if that's combined when both of these are active like they are. Because that would be 16% base of their health, like their health that applies as extra damage. I, I kind of want to use this now to, to try the ogre again. I'm going to keep fighting the ogre and over, over and over again. But I I mean, honestly, it's, it's one of the best farms for farming our essence to be able to get our, uh, uh, like our, our movement and stuff like to max. And I haven't even tried to do the health to max. So let's see what this is like now. With our current two swords. How quickly I wish. Oh my. That is super fast. So we do this incredibly fast now. Oh my. Because that 8%. That, that all adds up. Oh wow. This guy just completely melts now. It like. What an easy way to farm these things now. I mean, after fighting them 12 more times, um, I'm, and I'm just calling it right there. That was incredibly fast. I spent less than like five minutes, I don't know, farming that many. And that's enough for a minimum of two more upgrades to our stamina, potentially getting our stamina maxed out. I don't know what the max is on the stamina, but I just bought out the last, yeah, the last stamina. And now my stamina bar is full. I don't I don't actually know if it gets any more than this because this looks this looks like it would be maxed out, which is awesome because the one thing I hate most about this pack 
is the stamina. It's so awful for Minecraft to have to deal with stamina, but it is really cool that we were able to upgrade it over time. Now, I mean, at this point, what do you do after crafting the most powerful gun in the game? I mean, like, I don't even know what you, what do you do at this point? <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, as these videos do take a bit of time to make. And it's just a, a thank you, a, definitely a thank you whenever you guys and I see you guys click that subscribe button. Um, so anyways, also give this video a thumbs up. That means a lot as well, specifically to the algorithm as YouTube is a beast and it's got to be fed. And that like button is its food. So be sure to click that like button. And of course, comment down below. What's been your favorite part of this mod pack thus far? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, guys, uh, it's time now to thank the supporter of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go out to Creator. I think I think that's correct. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way, over on the Discord, becoming a beautiful Discord member and supporting in one of the best ways possible. Uh, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And again, as always, thanks for watching.